Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft. Okay, today I'm answering a request from one of my followers, Mr. Michael, who at the uh, Frozen Foot Gathering asked me to do a pack dump for what I carry in my basic camping set. Now, as I've said in earlier videos, I believe in the ability to scale up and scale down. And this is what I carry nine months out of the year, we will say, with only minor variations. During the height of summer, I will not be carrying a sleeping bag. I will simply be carrying a, a, a poncho liner. Uh, but as far as the rest of the gear, this gear doesn't change. This is my core camping pack. Now, if we're going on a hike, I will reduce the weight. If we're driving in and having a short walk in, it will be this. If we're setting up for four, five, six, seven days, this is going to be it. The only variations to this bag are going to be weather, and there will be food added to the bag comparable to what I'm going to need. Now I carry my canteen and ability to do water on the outside. If it's going to be an extended stay, I'll be carrying a haversack with additional food in it, probably slung on the top or slung on me, and then the pack on me. Uh, but as far as the basic camping, this is it. So, let me zoom the camera in a little bit and we'll get started. Okay, I carry a German canvas Alpine backpack is what I use for my standard camping pack. It has good straps, it has a big grab handle, and it has a couple of D-rings up here on the top for putting additional gear and hooking it across. I also carry a big odd-shaped cabiner that I use for hanging my pack, taking it up and down quickly, things like that. Now, it has two outside pouches. In my, looking at it, the right pouch, I carry a pair of work gloves. Actually, these are old flight gloves to have quick and ready access to them. You want to carry a pair of gloves, leather work gloves is fine, but something that's going to protect your hands, especially when you're gathering firewood or when you're doing stuff at night. I don't want to reach in and grab anything barehanded at night in case of ants, stickers, whatever. So a pair of gloves. I also have my fire in there, and so there's my match set, which is one of them big um, Yukos with the lifeboat matches ready to go. I have another backup mat, uh, fire set. I have cordage which this is 550 paracord made into the donuts like I've showed before. Got a couple of those in here because usually when I go other people want stuff. I carry my lights in here. I have a small personal light that's going into my hammock and then I have my headlight and backup batteries in here. Wow, I feel like I got a lot more in here than I remembered. Okay. A little bit more cordage. I carry a big wooden eating spoon in there. I found where I dumped at the frozen foot camp out where I dumped all the change out of my pocket. Well, I'll put that in here. Now, that's it in that pocket. This is also a little gimmick that you pick up. It's a whistle with a thermometer on it. I'd use that just to give me an idea of the uh, ambient temperature. And it's also got a little small magnifying glass in it. If I can get it to swing out of there. Just a minute. Yeah. Small magnifying glass for seeing that sticker in you, whatever. Whistle for a signaling device. So it's matches, gloves, spoon, cordage, headlamp. That's it for that. I'll put those back in there. I'll start by putting the cordage in first. Then I will follow 
with the headlamps, spare batteries, slide the spoon in, my other personal light, fire kit, and then finally on top goes the gloves rolled up for quick and easy access on the trail. On the other pouch, I have my hygiene kit, I have my toilet paper, I have my medicines and other personal effects that I need, soap, and a, a, a triangular bandage, and insect repellent. So this is like the bathroom. This is my personal toiletry set right here. Now, what this is an old, I'll get a little closer so you can see it. This is an old NBC kit, or nuclear, biological, and chemical set. You find them in surplus. It's got a little hanging thing. And what I have done is inside of it I have toothpaste, shampoo, smell good for when I'm coming out and don't want to stink so bad other personal little effects but that carries those personal little effects and then the small toothbrushes down in there as well that's my hygiene kit right there and the soap goes into here like that that way it's not gonna get wet in there and that's with a standard rag and a source of water I can take a bath when I'm coming out. My toilet paper, obvious reason. I can use natural, yes I can, but why be a barbarian when you don't have to? The emergency triangular bandage. This is in case of mechanical injury. All it is is a one meter square piece of cotton bandana material that I can use for emergency fire. I can use it as a self-aid to make a sling, make a bandage, whatever. I want it on the outside where I can get to it quickly. And then of course, the little uh, carry travel carry thing I got that's got my personal medications and things that I may need into it. Okay, main bag. I have a Alice Pack liner in here that its job is to keep the contents dry. It's pulled up and doubled over and stuffed back in. This keeps any rainwater that would hit or come through the top would run out and would not go into the bag. So I pull it over, open it up. It's a large Alice liner I'm putting into a small pack. Okay, my sleeping bag. This is a North Face down bag. This is good for me down into the 30s. And like I said, I will carry this during the winter when I'm gonna be carrying this pack. If it's extremely cold, I will be going to a much bigger set carrying the uh, military sleep system with the black bag, the liner, etc. And it will be a bigger pack. But this is the winter set for this pack, so I've got this down sleeping bag in it. My shelter is the Hennessy Explorer. This is my complete shelter kit. There will be stakes in the bottom, any cordage, anything I need to set this up. That's complete shelter set right there. A small camp pillow, because in a hammock, me personally, I need some sort of support up under my neck. It keeps me from having a, a neck ache in the morning, so it doesn't weigh anything, and I carry that. I have, for emergency clothing, a rain set, a rain Adirondack type jacket, hoodie, and a pair of rain pants. Now, these remain clipped together and stay in the pack. Should I need to change my clothes, I've gotten wet, and I've got to dry out, I'll put these on. If it's a little colder than I expected, I'll put these on as a vapor barrier when I go to get in my sleeping bag. Uh, they're also very slick, and so getting into them and like pants I put on, and I roll my dry socks up over it, 
Now my legs slide and it doesn't bunch up on your knee or anything like that. And it makes for a warmer night and it's a more comfortable night because I can move inside the bag without your legs kind of, you know, getting the covers all wadded up in a hammock. <coughs> I carry a camp towel, which is rolled up. This can also be used for other emergency uses, but uh, for the pr predominant thing, it's just an it's a regular old camp towel. In the bottom, I'm carrying a heavy pair of leather work gloves. These stay in the very bottom. Those light ones are for gathering firewood. This is when I've got to do something. It's going to hurt my hands. I put those on. A small hand towel and a washcloth. Multiple uses. Two pair of socks. A poncho. U.S. Army type, well, it's, not a, it's an aftermarket, but it's a poncho with a set of cordage and a little thing where it could be made into an emergency shelter. It can also be used as a small tarp to give me a little extra support for the hammock, etc. A little extra rain gear. The other pair of socks. And that's it. That's all I'm carrying. Now, there's no food in here. You notice that. Also, in the back of the bag, you have this sleeping pad, which opens up to a full-size sleeping pad. It acts as the frame for the pack and goes into this slot back here in the back. Now, this is my pull-it-out sit-on if the ground is wet. I fold it in half and put it inside my Hennessy as a warmth to my back, a pad inside. I can lay on it move around, and it doesn't roll up because it's kind of stiff. So that is my... Uh, additional that poncho can be doubled up and used like an under quilt underneath my Hennessy if I need to I can also gather up leaves and roll them up into this and put it under there for even bigger under quilt should I need roll this back over proceed to put it back in position very bottom goes the heavy leather gloves. I normally don't need them until I gotta have them, so I'll dig deep to get them. Next comes my additional clothing, flat on the bottom. Then the wash towel and the small hand cloth goes in the bottom right. The towel goes on top of them across the front. Now the poncho goes in the lower right. The extra socks goes into lower left. The pillow goes lower center. The Hennessy goes in on the right hand side. The sleeping bag or Wooby if it's the summer rolled up goes onto this side. Poking it down in there. Now, I pull the front of the liner up, pulling out any slack, roll it all the way over, and tuck it into the back. Then I take and pull the back, roll the ends toward the center, fold it to the front, and tuck it back into the pack. This will make sure that there is no direct path for water running down if the pack is soaking wet into my gear. I then pull the little cinch cord tight, fold the lid back over, just like this. Take my two straps. The straps roll. That's one of the things I like about them. And I like to crisscross them to help kind of pull in the sides a little better. Just like that. And there is my complete pack system. It also works real good is a lean back. Put it up against a tree, sit down on the ground, lean back, put my little camp stove wide heavy right here, have my child, sit and eat, kick back, relax. Take a nap if I need to. It's become my favorite uh, carry bag. It's become my favorite way to camp. 
about nine months out of the year. Yes, there are a lot of things I'm not addressing with this pack. Somebody's going to ask about the weight. My weight is about 16 to 17 pounds without food. Like I said, food will be added depending on the room. There's still room in the bag to add food. And if, like I said, if it's an extended stay where we're walking in, there'll be a haversack with food included into it. Because as I eat out of the haversack, it gets lighter. And whenever I'm on, getting ready to come home, the haversack's empty. It gets rolled up and put in a big bag. Aesop's Fables. Aesop volunteered to carry the food. The heaviest bag on the first day. But every day, everybody ate out of that bag. And by the end of the trip, he was walking along carrying an empty bag. I learned from that. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And until next time, I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.